Well, let's keep going. And two more? Two more. Once again, these are really simple fights and they are required, so I will be keeping them in. I will be cutting random encounters out later when they are repeat enemies. Uh, that way I uh, can cut out some of the repetition of this game and make it flow a little bit faster. Yes! Uh, same, same everything. Nothing really changes there. And we can, we could use an item, I guess. I don't, I don't even know if we have any items. Do we have items? We have a few tonics, which uh, work the same as potions, and the same as tonics in Chrono Trigger, but uh, I have no use for them just yet. Even though he could probably use a heal, we're just going to head up here, suck them onto the chocobo, and move on! And now we have saved, well, Reyna twice, and now Galif once. How the hell did Bart get up there? Oh. You keep an eye on them, Boko. I'll be up here staring off into the distance. Hi there. Bart's. Thank you again. Forget it. I have to keep up my badass persona. That meteorite caused landslides, and there are huge cracks in the earth. The road to tools completely destroyed. That's kind of uh, not that much of an impact considering how big that meteorite was. We have to hurry to the wind shrine. Uh oh. Oh, uh, maybe the meteor wasn't moving that slow. Was moving slowly. That's the only thing I got. Gotta hurry. Wind shrine. He's going. Then, I think I'd better go along too. Really? My dad's dying wish was for me to travel the world. Besides, the wind's calling me. What a bunch of crap. You know it's just cause you got the hots for her. Shut up, old man. You could tell? <laughs> Way to keep a straight face, Bart. Everyone could tell, bright boy. I'm a sucker for pink hair, what can I say? Pink and uh, green, probably. But how are we going anywhere with the road out? Uh, what? Well, what, step two? I didn't think that far. Just step one, get there. Step two, how? Uh -huh. Step three is still profit, though. I know that. There must be a way. She's right. Okay, let's go. Are we ready to go? We're gonna hop on Ch Boko's back again. Boko, you do all the work. And we do have two new party members, thanks to that. Now, um, you'll notice that there's a couple different features here than we last saw in Final Fantasy IV. One thing for sure is that I can't, is uh, th there's no form screen, formation uh, button here. Uh, you can just double click on the person to move them back and forth between the rows if you could if you notice though we can move each person individually between the front row and the back row which is very much appreciated i was uh, not that big of a fan of having forced uh setups with either two people in the back row or three people in the back row that we had in previous games but you'll also notice that there's only really room for one more person this is going to be four people instead of five like we had in Final Fantasy IV back to the classic version. Um, when it comes to status you'll see that everybody is pretty much um, standard when it comes to how things are going uh, except well Rana doesn't have as much uh, battling power. Uh, I believe that yeah everything else is relatively similar you know it's not one for one equal but you know everything is is right around the ballpark there uh even Gallif is is pretty close his uh battle power isn't is well the worst actually holy crap that is awful uh that is the only difference between the three characters at this point of course that will change over time 
We need to head north here, once again, because we're on Boko. There are no random battles out here, but we can head north here. And it looks like we're going to have to get off Boko in order to go into this dungeon here. I didn't know there was a cave here. Probably came out in the last quake. Wait here, Boko. It's dangerous ahead. Not for chocobos. Yeah, you just wait. And we ditch our best friend. Hooray! Let us move in here into the cave. Now this is a very straightforward cave. A spring? Yes, a very special spring. But first we do have a battle. And this is like the first official battle here. And then we get a back attack by steel bats. Uh, nothing really that you need to concern yourself about. And once again, uh, you don't have very many options here, so you just have to press X until you win. And that's how this works. Punch him! Nice! Uh, and of course, because he's got two fists, he's got a two combo go, and Gallop does not have any equipment on right now. No weapons. I didn't go over that, but that is why he is uh, punching and everybody else is swinging something. Yes! You get 40 gil, 6 experience for taking on those bats. Of course, uh, the uh, the back attacks are back, and the uh, first strike are back as well. And we have made it to a recovery spring where we can heal, and it turns everything blue. And we have another fight. Is it going to be with the same steel bats? It is. With them out of the way, we are free to move on further north. And I can see a treasure chest, but I cannot get it just yet. I'm going to have to go this way. Uh oh It's a pirate! He can't see us! He's only got one eye! He's got no depth perception! Uh-oh. What's he had? Oh, when he pressed the skull on the side and headed up. Must be some kind of switch. Interesting. Wait, seriously? I didn't move. You can, I didn't know you could get in a fight there. And we're up against uh, new enemies here. We do have two Stropers. Uh, so let's go ahead and take them on. I should... Yeah, down goes the Steel Bat. Can Gallop take out the Stroper? Could be close. No, no we can't. Too bad. We're gonna have to wait for uh, Raina's turn again so she can finish him slashing with that knife, I believe, is what she's got equipped right now. Uh, we get 60 gil, 8 experience, and Bart has gained a level. Raina and Gallif both gained a level from the last battle, so we're level 3 and uh, 2 right now. And in here we can get a leather cap! Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and equip that. I'm probably going to be putting that on... Uh, on Bart's here. So let's go ahead and get that. So his ma defense and magic defense go up. Uh, now, they don't really give me... Oh, you could just do the optimum, which is probably what uh, would be the best way. And then you can remove, and then his battling power does go down. That is very, very dependent on what you have equipped. So we can look at Reyna here. She's got a knife and leather armor. If we look at Gallif, he is, of course, unarmed with leather armor as well. And the weight, of course, is uh, determined on what you have on you, especially the armor. I believe it is just the armor, actually, determines how heavy of a character you have. But we can head up here and get into another battle. New enemies! No new enemies. And from here we can head up north and we get another small little cutscene. Bot saw something outside. We see a ship. I don't know how we can see that from the cave, but nonetheless, he saw it. How can a ship sail without any wind? That is a good question. Does it have some kind of motor? This is... this is not the time period for a motor. Now with only one option left, for us, we can head this way and miss the stairs and get into a fight. So now let's head up the stairs and we can head through the door. Definitely pirates. I'm, I'm definitely saying pirates. I don't know why, but I get the impression that there are pirates here. 
See, look, did you see how the, the eye patch was always on the side facing you? <laughs> when his sprite moved, that was, that was weird. <laughs> this must be a pirate hideout. Thanks, Bart. <laughs> Which means that the, that ship was one of theirs. Yes, yes, it does. Think they'd give us a ride? No. They're pirates, for Christ's sake. Really, Christ's sakes? You can Well, I guess if you take out the T's, whatever. Who? What are we gonna do? Waltz on board? Just because it ends with TZ doesn't mean you have to say it, Bart's. No, sneak on. You know you're pretty gutsy for an old timer. <laughs> I'm only 29. I don't. I don't actually know how old he is. But we can hit this button there, and uh, it doesn't really do anything. Now, you can try to talk to these people. You can try, but they're all asleep, and really, you don't really want to wake them up. So, instead, we're just going to head over to the east, and we've made it onto the ship. Now, you can explore uh, down here, but really, there's, there's nothing here in either one of the rooms. So, what we really need to do is head over to where I would assume the back of the ship is the uh, well and we need to touch the, the wheel really now we shove off it is time to get out of here I am pumped I got a ship I'm on a boat Darts, what's the matter N no good won't budge an inch Avast what are you doing there oh Crap, that's... Oh, it's the captain. It's the purple-haired captain, isn't it? Dar, You got courage trying to steal me ship out from under me own nose. Wait, I'm Princess Reyna of Tycoon. I apologize for trying to commandeer your ship. And this is when everybody finds out she's a princess. You're a princess! Please, lend us your ship. My father's in grave danger. You are stupid, Reyna. I hope you know that. A ho! A plea now, is it? And from a princess, no less. Dar, tis me lucky day. Parley, damn it. Parley. I'm gonna be rich. Stop it. And what do you think was gonna happen? They're gonna hold you ransom here, Reyna. Please, I beg of you. Ooh, she had something shiny. Looks like a pendant. That pendant. Cast them in irons. The lot of them. Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! And down we go. And we're already got... Well, yeah, we've already gotten captured, it looks like. We're down in the brig. Wow. <laughs> nice hop. Great. Whose idea was it anyhow to steal a fucking pirate ship? It was it was yours. Yours, you old psycho. Oi, my head. I don't remember a thing. Yeah, nice timing. Can I hop around? No. Still can't get over how Ra over Reyna being a princess. I didn't mean to hide it. Why were you going to w to the wind shrine alone? My father's there. I felt something bad was going to happen to him. So I slipped out of the castle. Then the meteorite hit and... Oh. Well. You should address your... S you should introduce yourself as I am Princess Reyna of Tycoon. But no. This is an RPG. And you have to find out later that they are actually princesses. What do you want, Captain? Dar. The princess of Tycoon had the same pendant as me own. I don't have a very good pirate impression, I'm sorry. It's the same one! I can tell because it's like the green square. I said her father be at the wind shrine. I'm sure that doesn't mean anything. Not important whatsoever. 
Set sail for the wind trine. We are shipping off, me mateys. How the hell did we... Oh, okay, I was about to say, did we hop out of prison? No, they, they pushed us out. What do you do with these landlubbers, Captain? Rele release them? What? Be quick about it. Just gonna let us go? Thanks? You know what? You probably didn't take our swords, right? I'll, I'll probably be using them. But why? You're working for me now. Any complaints? Pull anchor. We sail for the wind shrine. Are you deaf or just stupid? Do as your captain commands. I can't hear ye. I told you, man. Ferris is the captain from SpongeBob. Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! I don't know how that happened. I don't see a beard, though. Or a parrot. But still, I think it's a young Captain from SpongeBob. That's what I'm calling right now. But there's no wind! Dagar! Your hollow is your pretty malass. <laughs> wow. Y y are you coming on to Reina already? That's Bart's job. Hydra, introduce yourself to the princess. Hydra? Oh, damn, you got like a sea dragon. That is... That is a high-pitched sound for a dragon, but still very, very nice. I like your dragon. How think ye now? Raised brother, raised together like brothers we were we. It's all backward. <laughs> Closer mates ye have never seen. What about Bart and Boko? I'm closer to my chocobo than you ever were to that dragon. Apparently we just agreed to, to work for Ferris. Cast off! And we're off!